amazing job on Julian the Phantoms. It Thank you, Tatiana. <laughs> incredible. I loved Thank it so much. Thank you so much. Um, I especially, uh, Madison, I love seeing a Latina heroine at the center of the story um, without it being the story. You know, she gets to just live a full life without right. really focusing on her ethnicity, which is great. But I especially love seeing that family dynamic because it's so rare that we get to see just like Latino families just being loving and at the center of the story. So what right. was it like developing that dynamic for you? Right. I mean, you know, I wouldn't necessarily say that I broke the stereotypes of what, you know, uh, a Latin girl has to, you know, role she has to play in a, in, a, in a show, but I definitely feel like it's the start of something new and never seen before. Um, and even, you know, with, you know, you know, Flynn and their relationship, yes. these two very, you know, independent, strong and powerful girls of color who are kind of just doing this incredible thing that, you know, you, you never think would be possible, but they are doing it, you know, and they're doing it with these three ghosts, you know, but they're, they're owning it and they're rocking out. And I mean, you know, with, you know, Flynn being a DJ, you know, and she's just so, uh, she's such a boss, you know, I love Jada so much and she is so, you know, amazing and so smart and so beautiful and the kindest person that you'd ever meet. And I just love her so very much. And, you know, just being able to kind of create what Double Trouble stands for and kind of, you know, represent, you know, women of power and, you know, just young women of power as well is amazing. And I'm so glad I get to be a part of it. Oh, I love that. Um, Kenny, I have, you know, grown up with your stories. Uh, High School Musical inspired me when I was a child. And now Julie and the Phantoms is here as an adult. What is it that brings you back? And of course, Descendants, too. You go back often to you know, stories about youth, about high school, and yet it's universal for all ages. We're all here connected by it. What do you think is so powerful about that time? You know, that they end up in high school isn't really what brings me back. You know, <laughs> uh, um, uh, what brings me back really is is what lives at the center of these stories. And if, and if I feel that there's something there that really compels me and, and excites me and and uh, working with Dan and Dave, Dan uh, Cross and Dave Hoge, are, they're inspiring guys. They just have great sense of humor and, and heart and and, uh, and, and, and I just felt so connected with them from the very start when we met and discussed the project and all through development, it's just been heaven working with them. Uh, they're just open and, 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 and wonderful partners. And uh, it starts with the narrative, you know, and, and I just felt that, that there were these themes that were running through, rivering through Julie and the Phantoms and that we were begin, being given permission to sort of move into new 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 places with the storytelling that just gave me confidence that this could be something really rewarding and of course you know being able to have a latinx leading lady a heroine of latin ethnicity and and a, and a latin family that the story revolves around all of that the heart the humor the music you know uh, uh, just all excited me and and made for what i thought would be good television and it very much is. <laughs> Thank, you. Um, Thank you. Madison, uh, I love how connected uh, Julie is to her mother, even though we never really get to see the two of you interact. Um, and so even though you're spending the whole show talking to literal phantoms, the, the biggest weight on her, I think, is the ghost of her mother. How right. is it for you to develop that connection without really, you know, knowing the way? Right. You know, with my mom, being in the military, you know, I was kind of used to her kind of not being able to make it to certain things. Um, and it was very young that we kind of established how we would get through those things when I felt nervous or whereas in a moment that I was kind of used to her being there, but she couldn't. Um, and her thing was, you know, just remind, just imagine me in the back of the room there with <laughs> you, you know? So when it came to those moments of kind of thinking about her watching over, you know, Julie and this kind of reminiscing as Julie about her mom. I just kind of thought about my own mom in the sense of, you know, maybe Julie's mom would say the same thing to her and just imagine that she was back there, especially if her death was one that was kind of like, you know, expected and not like just out of nowhere, uh, whether it been, would have been like an illness or something, you know, I feel like that would definitely would have been established if, you know, she was kind of constantly going through, you know, a certain illness. Um, it's just, you know, I know I can't be there with you, but just imagine that I'm there with you. Um, and it's so easy to kind of get lost and kind of forget those little simple things when, 
your mind is kind of clouded in sadness, you know, after losing the loss of somebody. Um, but, you know, once you do realize that stuff and you realize that that person is watching over you, like they said that they would, and you're finding those signs that they left behind for you, you can really start to open up to those friends and family that who have tried to been there for, be there for you. And that's what's so kind of beautiful about, you know, Julie's family as well is that, you know, they understand that she's going through something mm -hmm. and instead of kind of just trying to be like, well, forget about that. You know, that's not important anymore. They're like, I'm going to let you feel that they're giving her that space that she needs to kind of get through it and kind of live through whatever she needs to. And so she can get to that point of her, where she was before all that stuff happened. And, you know, I really feel like that's the biggest thing that anybody should learn is just instead of just kind of pushing it aside and forgetting about it and waiting until, you know, that big moment comes and you just completely explode, you know, just feel it, live through those things. So this way you don't have to, you know, constantly just push them aside. You can actually just get them over with, much quicker if you feel them and actually live through them because you can learn so much from that as well. Oh, I love that. It's a beautiful answer. Um, and also, I love what you said before about Flynn because her support and that friendship is so wonderful. So Kenny, I'm just wondering, uh, in the season two that I know that we will get because the show is so good, uh, do you foresee Flynn getting to participate more in her, you know, the music program and in her personal life to get to know more of that other half of Double Trouble? You know, I, I think that all of these main characters, you know, stories will evolve and deepen. And I know that Dan and, I mean, D Dave and Dan and I have spoken about that and, you know, that, that if we're blessed with a second season, I think that that's going to just, but we're encouraged. And, and, you know, uh, the, the, you know, we're, we're discovering now that, that, that we're sort of, re, uh, we have a kind of a global, uh, uh, interest and that, you know, we're listening and paying attention mm -hmm. and, and, and finding out, you know, how people are responding and what they're responding to. And they seem to be responding to a lot. You know, it's all over the, I mean, the gay story, the, the, the friendship story, the juke story, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 the Caleb story, the Willie. So, uh, um, it, it, yeah, and, and, and Dave and Dan are just are, are really talented and, and so in love with the show. And uh, I would only just say that there will be a lot of surprise <laughs> and, and absolutely that we'll see the characters of Carrie and Nick, you know, and Flynn and the family growing growing inside yes for sure wonderful how, I cannot. <laughs> how we'll see <laughs> well i cannot wait to find out and also to find Thank out like, if the hot dog vendor faces faced manslaughter charges i think it's really important <laughs> just keep that, that in mind for me. actual <laughs> important thing to know yes, that, might yes. be, that might be a real good way to begin wouldn't it <laughs> <laughs> yes. well thank you so much i cannot wait for more <laughs> thank Have you so day. very much have a great day too yeah. bye, bye.